friends. Today we are going to read When the Wind Stops by Charlotte Zola, Zoloto, Zoloto. And this book is illustrated by Stefano Vitali. When the Wind Stops. The great bright yellow sun had shone all day and now the day was coming to an end. The light in the sky changed from blue to pink to a strange dusky purple. The, sensei, the sun sank lower into the long glowing clouds. The little boy was sorry to see the day end. He and his friend had played in the garden. When they were tired of playing, they lay down in the grass and felt the sun on them, warm and soft, like a sleepy cat resting. There had been icy lemonade in the afternoon, which they drank under the pear tree, and the little boy's father read him a story on the porch before he went to bed. Now his mother came to say good night. Why does the day have to end, he asked her. So the night can begin, she said. Look, she pointed out the window where, high in the darkening sky, behind the branches of the pear tree, the little boy could see a pale sliver of moon. That's the night beginning, his mother said, resting her hand on his shoulder. The night with the moon and stars and darkness for you to dream in. But where does the sun go when the day ends? The little boy asked. The day doesn't end, said his mother. It begins somewhere else. The sun will be shining there. When night begins here, nothing ends. Nothing, the little boy asked. Nothing, his mother said. It begins in another place or in a different way. The little boy lay in bed and his mother sat beside him. Where does the wind go when it stops, he asked. It blows away to make the trees dance somewhere else. Where does the dandelion fluff go when it blows away? It carries the seed of new dandelions to someone's lawn. Where does the mountain go after the top? Down to where it becomes the valley. Where do waves go when they break on the sand? Sucked back to the sea into new waves. Where does the rain go when the storm is over? Into clouds to make other storms. And where do clouds go when they move across the sky? To make shade somewhere else. And the leaves in the forest, when they turn color and fall into the ground to become part of new trees with new leaves. But when the leaves fall, that is the end of something, the little boy said. It is the end of autumn. Yes, his mother said, the end of autumn is when the winter begins. At the end of winter, the little boy asked. The end of winter, when the snow melts and the birds come back, is the beginning of spring, his mother said. The little boy smiled. It really does go on and on, he said. Nothing ends. He looked out at the sky. The sun was gone completely. The lovely pink clouds had disappeared. The sky was dark and purple black. High above branches of the pear tree shone clearly now a thin new moon. Today is over, his mother said. It's time for sleep. And tomorrow morning when you wake, the moon will be beginning a night far away 
and the sun will be here to begin a new day. The end. All right. Well, friends, I chose this book because this week we are going to talk about the four seasons. And it talks about how when one thing ends, another begins. So I really liked these photos. He, The little boy mentioned that when the leaves fall down out of the tree, that means it's the end of something, the end of autumn. And his mom said, yes, the end of autumn is when winter oops, begins. So I like this. So here's autumn. So we have pumpkin and there's a witch, some nuts and the leaves are falling off the tree. And then after autumn comes winter. And we see a reindeer, there's a sled, some ornaments, a present and some candles. So we have winter with the snow on the ground. And then after winter comes spring and the snow melts and the birds come back and it's the beginning of spring. You see all the, the buds on the trees start to bloom, their flowers and the trees become green again in springtime. And after spring comes summer. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed our story when the wind stops. Bye friends.